When the newly progressive Denver City Council nuked the contracts for privately run halfway houses, it changed which communities will get future halfway house inmates. So right now, Denver City Council is considering a short term fix, but our Marshall Zellinger found out that fix could end up in your community. In which community will these people go, mm -hmm. right? They won't be coming into my community because there will be no contracts in my community. They'll be coming into yours and into yours. Democratic State Representative Leslie Harrod lives in Denver, where halfway houses may cease to exist. Depending on what Denver City Council does tonight about the future of halfway houses run by private companies GEO and CoreCivic. This impacts more than just the city of Denver. This impacts the entire state correctional system from one end to the other. If these Denver halfway houses close in six months or one year, prisons could stay full longer, since those inmates won't have an in-between facility to transition. If these Denver halfway houses close in six months or one year, inmates may be assigned to halfway houses in other metro area communities. If these Denver halfway houses close in six months or one year, will there be staff to make sure the inmates get the help they need, or worse yet, staff to make sure the inmates come back at the end of the night? How many of us would want to keep a job if we knew it was going to be gone in six months? Which one of us wouldn't be looking for something else knowing that you have to feed your family and your kids six months down the road? You're not going to do it just out of the goodness of your heart and stay somewhere. Are folks asking for, let me just be blunt, right? Are folks asking for more money from the state to deal with this issue? Yes, there has been a request. I don't know if it's gone through the former channels, but one of the comments to me was is that they, they wanted additional funds to pay staff, to encourage staff to stay on board for the next six months to a year. They wanted to have stipends to tell staff if you stayed on to the end, we'll keep you on an additional month of pay. All right, well, I would hope that Core Civic and Geo would consider using their profit margins to pay their employees to keep them on board while this um, contract is being negotiated. The reason this was even being talked about at the Capitol is because that committee is supposed to figure out how to ease the prison population. This decision could really jam it up. Kyle, here are my takeaways from mm -hmm. the meeting uh, is that it, the opinion is that this Denver City Council should have talked to the state to say, hey, if we make this decision, what's the state impact? And possibly talk to other communities about a decision that Denver's going to make. But I mean, if Denver wants to just go rogue and just do whatever it wants, whenever it wants, it can. Yeah, I have two thoughts on that. One is it's a home rule city. Mm -hmm. They control the house. Like if we want to cancel this, that's our prerogative. Or maybe this new city council didn't know that it was going to have that trickle up and trickle down effect. It's going to cost the state more money or it's going to cost other communities money because suddenly you're diverting Denver inmates to Arapahoe County, to Jefferson County, to Douglas County. It's, it's your issue now. Yeah, what a surprise. Action, reaction. Hmm. All right. Thank you, Marshall.